my brothers and my sisters, I want to encourage you on today to simply be locked in. Many times we may find ourselves locked out, but it is our mandate to be locked in. And when I say locked in, we must have Christ's focus. And if we're going to be locked in, we must be fully committed and completely dedicated to following the teachings and the examples of Jesus Christ. Being locked in, it involves centering our thoughts, actions, and decisions around the word of God. And while we center our thoughts and our actions and our decisions around the principles of God's word, we should be doing our best to live lives that reflect the values and the love of Christ as we engage the good work he has called us to do. My brothers and my sisters, this locked in mentality includes prioritizing faith, making time for prayer, serving others without looking for special honor, and embracing the moral and ethical standards set forth in God's holy word. Being locked in as a disciple means allowing Jesus Christ to be the guiding force in our lives, shaping every aspect of our being with his teachings and with his grace. So how do we as believers get locked in? And how should we, re we respond when obstacles come our way in the midst of us trying to do the good work God has called us to do? Number one, there should be a recognition of God's grace. Number two, there ought to be gratitude for God's work. And last but not least, there must be a commitment to God's plan. So I encourage you, as we begin this day, March the 12th, 2024, that you be locked in, that you be Christ-focused, and you have awareness of Christ as you speak, as you think, and as you move. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come thanking you for this another day that you have blessed us with. We thank you for being a loving father. We thank you for being a divine creator. And we thank you, Lord, for never leaving us nor forsaking us. And because of our gratitude for what you have done, we simply want to take this moment to say that we repent for the sins that we have committed. We repent for the sins of omission and the sins of commission. And it is our prayer that you create in us a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within us, restoring to us the joy of your salvation. As we start this day, give us the mindset to be locked in. Give us a mindset to want to do the work that you have called us to do. And as we do the good work you have called us to do, give us a heart to execute the work in excellence. We ask you to bless us as we start this day. We ask you to look on our children. We ask you to bless those who are sick. We ask you to bless those who are troubled, Lord. And we just ask you, Lord, that you hold us all in the palm of your loving and divine hand letting us all know individually and collectively that you love us more than anything. We ask you to bless those, Lord, who are striving to serve you, yet find trouble in their path. We ask you to comfort and keep them and give them the mindset to continue to move down the path that you have called for them. We ask you to bless the laborers, Lord, that are striving to grow in you, we ask you to bless every disciple and give them a heart, not only to receive discipling, but to disciple others. We ask you, Lord, to strengthen our faith. We ask you to grow our love for your word. And we will be so careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory in what we say, what we think, and what we do. Now, we ask you to be with us now as we strive to command the day. As we strive to be good stewards, as we strive to be good disciples, we ask you, Lord, to be with us now. 
for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Forever we pray. Amen, amen, amen. And my brothers and my sisters, be locked in on today. Remember, there should be a recognition of God's grace. There ought to be gratitude for God's work. And there must be a commitment to God's plan. So I want you to make today the best day of your life, knowing by faith that tomorrow is going to be even better. Stay locked in. God bless you.